everybody, Erica Serwin here from Pink Bucker Designs. I've got a really cute fun fold card for you today featuring the best delivery stamp set. I adore this stamp set. It's one of my favorite kinds. It's cutesy, it's fun. Um, this card is a fun fold and it opens like that. If you can see from the side. I actually received this card in the mail from a customer named Chris who sent me this beautiful card. And so I used it as a template and I just turned it on its side like that. So Chris, thank you for the inspiration. Okay, now you're gonna need several pieces of flirty flamingo cardstock. Now all of this is on a free PDF over on my blog. Make sure you hop over there and grab it. Um, it's free. And there are two other best delivery projects over there as well. All right, so the first piece that you need is, let me look at my notes, four and a four and a fourth by 11. You're gonna score it at two, three and three fourths, seven and a fourth, and nine. Then the other two pieces don't need score lines, but let me tell you their measurements. This one is four and a fourth by, uh, four and a fourth by five and a half. And then this one is four and a fourth by four. All right. Okay, so we can move that out of the way. And let's bring over this. And we're going to fold it in like that, okay? So it's like, you know, a small little, um, oh, gate fold, I believe is what that's called. But we're going to add these pieces on so that it's bigger. Now, I want to show you how it goes like this. We're going to actually adhere it to the center of this designer series paper, or I'm sorry, this cardstock for here. But first, we're going to adhere the DSP. All right, so let's get that designer series paper. And you just need about a one inch by four inch piece to put right there. It looks like it's the, you know, it goes across the whole piece, but it it is covered by this other piece. So you can save yourself on some DSP by not cutting the whole piece. All right, so I've got some stamp and Seal Plus there. I'm gonna close that and very carefully. Let's see if I can look at it from this side, make sure I've got it centered. I'm gonna adhere it in the middle. You can use your grid paper to help you get it centered as well if you need to. Okay, okay, now let's put on the other pieces of designer series paper. These flirty flamingo pieces are from the Flirty Flamingo, um, actually the, the Brights designer series paper, the Brights pack. And then the stripes here are from the All Together DSP. That is an online only. All right, now the next piece is the square. You're gonna take this DSP. You're not gonna put it on that flap over there. You're gonna put it on the left side right here of this piece. Make sure that this is the four and a fourth side. Um, you don't want the four inch side over here. You want the four and a fourth side over here. So I actually have adhesive on it already because I put it in the wrong place, but we're gonna pretend like I didn't. <laughs> okay. So there, we've got that. Now, we're gonna take some more adhesive and fold this down and we're gonna match those edges. You want, let's put some design, or some adhesive here and we'll match those edges right there and push that down like that. So when you close it, that's what you've got, okay? That little piece of DSP isn't showing through. I know it doesn't make sense right now, but we're gonna put another piece of white in a minute after we stamp our truck right here and it's gonna center all of that, okay? So there's that. On the end side, we've got a piece of basic white that we can put right in the middle. All right, and there you have it. That's what it looks like from above and that's how it closes. All right, now let's do the fun part, our little truck. We're going to stamp the truck several times and we're gonna do some fussy cutting. The first thing I'm gonna do is stamp it right in the middle of that basic white piece that we're gonna adhere to the card. Now, if you don't like to fussy cut, 
that's fine. You can modify this um, however you'd like. Um, but I'm gonna paper piece it and we're gonna ink it on several different pieces so that it has lots of different texture. Now I'm gonna put this close to the right side because we wanna stamp those hearts behind it. All right, so we've got that. Now let's bring over the little hearts or you could do the balloons and stamp those right there because they're coming out the back side. And then we're gonna stamp the truck again. This time, we're gonna stamp just the box part onto this designer series paper. This is the Flowering Fields DSP, and you just need that box piece. Okay, there's that. Now, we're gonna stamp the cab of the truck both on Flirty Flamingo and on Basic White. Let me clean this so that it doesn't stick to my mat. I'm gonna ink up the cab and I'm gonna stamp it right, right here. Okay, and then I'm gonna stamp it again onto the white. There we go. Okay, so now we're gonna cut little pieces of each one of these to adhere to the white. So let's start with the smallest. We're gonna cut out the window from the white, just the window. Okay, pretty easy. And when you paper piece, you wanna stamp right, or you wanna cut right in the middle of those lines because we're gonna be adhering this and match, basically matching those lines on the other stamped image. Okay, so now, I don't have my liquid glue, so let's just do a glue dot right there. Normally, I would use my liquid glue, but I believe it's over on my other counter. Okay, so there, we put the white window. Now we're just gonna cut out the door and the front of the truck. I am not gonna cut out the um, bumper. I'm gonna cut out just the door. And this little window, or this windshield wiper, you can just cut right through it. Because remember, we've got this right here, and it's gonna fill in that space for us. Okay, let me look, yep, let's see. Is that how I wanted it? Yep, it is. All right, now let's just put a little bit of adhesive there and match up those lines like that. Now, the last piece that we're gonna cut is the box part of the truck, the back side. And so again, you want to just stay in the middle of those black lines like that and cut all the way around. Now, before we put this on, we're actually gonna tie a bow around this, okay? So I've got my white crinkle seam binding and I'm just gonna put a little tiny bit of adhesive there and I'm gonna stick that ribbon right in the middle of that adhesive to kind of keep it in place. And then we'll tie a bow. Now it's a little bit tricky because the paper is so light so one thing you can do is put something heavy, like the block down on it, to hold it down while you're tying it, but that kind of gets in the way. So I'm just gonna do the best I can. I'm holding it down um, with my back fingers. Let's tie a knot first. Well, come on, there we go, like that. And then, Let's make sure we've got it nice and centered. And then we'll tie the bow. Actually, you know what? Let's do it like this. We've got this on here. And once we put it down with dimensionals, it'll be nice and snug and easier to tie that bow. Okay. So set that down right there. And now it'll be easier. 
like that. I mean, who doesn't love a truck with a big bow on it? I need some better scissors to cut my ribbon. All right. Now there is a really weird squiggly stamp that is to stamp the kind of the shadow underneath each tire like that. And then I'm gonna get my Smoky Slate stamp and blends and color in what's left, just the bumper. Like that. And so cute. Now, I have cut two basic black stitched scalloped borders from our basic border dies. And we're gonna line those up behind here. Like they're longer than they need to be, so I'm gonna trim them off. So one's like that, and one is like that. And now we'll just match those edges. All right, let's bring our card back. Now we wanna center it right here so that it shows equal, pretty much equal amounts of that DSP right there. So I'm gonna put my stamp and seal plus there and I'm gonna eyeball it before I kind of smush it down like that. All right. There. All right, now we have a few other little details for our card. I have cut out a little tag, a tiny little tag. This is from the Hydrangea dies. Let me get all of my trash out of here. And we're gonna stamp the little heart in Flirty Flamingo. And then I've got some linen thread. And I just really need a little piece. And let's get that, that little part poked out like that. And through there. And through there. And we'll just tie it with a knot. You could do a bow, I guess, too. But I think I'm just going to do a little knot like that. Okay, cut that off. All right, now, so that everything stays where it's supposed to, I'm gonna get a dimensional and I'm just gonna put this down where it is supposed to be, okay? Right there. All right, so cute. My, my bow is a little wild. Now, last but not least, let's stamp our sentiment on the inside in Memento. Right there. Loving thoughts to guide you into your next adventure. Wishing you all the best. And then you can add a few of these hearts that we stamped on the tag. There you go. How fun is this? Now, this card design is really fun. And I think that you could do lots of things with the actual card design, even if you don't use the best delivery um, stamp set. Um, I think it's fun. You could even put a gift card holder up here somewhere, maybe in here, maybe just right along here and it opens up to show a gift card. All right, guys, click the link here on YouTube to go back to my blog where there's a free PDF with those measurements and the supply list and two other best delivery projects. Thanks everybody, bye-bye.